Bill's Focus is presented by Atwall Eye Care, the official LASIK provider of the Buffalo Bills. Bills fans, the wait is over. Playoff football has arrived, and the Bills are a part of the wild card picture as they travel down to Jacksonville to face the Jaguars on Sunday. For the Bills, their run game may or may not be in the hands of LaShawn McCoy. He's questionable this week with an ankle injury. But the Bills have faced adversity all season long, and they won't let a potentially limited or absent McCoy affect their performance on Sunday. Next man up. That's what we've done all year. Um, you know, you, you never replace a player like LaShawn. Um, I've got a lot of confidence in Mike Tolbert and, and Murph and, and uh, whoever else we put in the backfield. So, um, you know, they did a nice job this past weekend, and I expect them to do the same moving forward. I just want to be able just to, to cut uh, well enough where um, I, don't feel like I don't have a lot of pain when I'm cutting. You know, I don't want to. Uh, I just want to be close, uh, the best as far as 100 percent as I can get. But the type of game like this, man, you got to lay on the line. So, uh, if I can't get 100% as long as I'm out there and I can run effective enough, you know, I'll do it. So we'll just see. Talented team, uh, very talented defense uh, across the board. I'm up front at the linebacker position. Of course, on the back end, uh, they definitely pose a great challenge to, um, to anyone they play against uh, just because of the number of talented players that they have out there on the field. Like every week, it boils down to execution for us. Um, staying ahead of the chains, and we have to be good at that on early downs. To, um, give ourselves a good shot on, on third downs to, to be able to move the chains. If I had those three running backs, I would probably continue to run it over and over, too. You know, with um, Fournette and Ivory and Yeldon, I mean, I would just keep handing those guys the ball, too. Uh, for us, um, no matter what defense we're in, we have to be clean across the board on where we fit, where we're supposed to be, uh, and when we're supposed to be there. Or If not, you know, you give those guys creases, they can take advantage of it. They all have different skill sets. They're all very talented. So it's a huge challenge for us, and like I said, we have to have a great week of preparation to get ready. It's a very good offense. Um, they run the ball really well, and, uh, you know, we got to find ways to get in a situation to third and long um, in order to do what we want to do and be successful. It's chess this week. You know, we moved from checkers to chess, and uh, um, I'm excited about the opportunity. You know, we got an opportunity to go down there and get a win, and uh, it's one of those things everyone's counting us out, and we're going to go down there and shock the world. The key for Buffalo's offense in this one will be to keep drives alive. Meanwhile, the defense will be looking to force turnovers. Jacksonville is 8-0 when Blake Bortles gets through a game without an interception, but they are 2-6 when he has one INT thrown or more. You can hear all the action on the Bills radio network. Murph and Mark Kelso will have the call. We'll have full postgame coverage here on buffalobills.com. I'm Chris Brown for Bills Focus, presented by Atwal IQ.